everyone and welcome to this weekly reading. So we move forward this week towards Christmas time and it's going to be a very powerful week because we've got a new moon and you know there's all this cleansing going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the Sacred Forest Oracle by the amazing Denise Lynn and I'm going to do a card for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and Christmas. So you know what to expect and what energy to focus on and any guidance they want you to know. So let's get a card and this is for your general week and for twins. Incorporate this into every area of your life. So what do we need to know please angels for the coming week for Monday and Tuesday? For Monday and Tuesday. Jump straight out there. Wow. Let me just grab those cards. What do we need to know for Wednesday and Thursday? Wow. Love it when they jump out this way. And the energy around Christmas, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. What do we need to know for Friday, Saturday and Sunday jumps out? They are giving me the word trust for the for the weekend, you know. So trust the love, trust the journey, trust the situation of trust in everything will be okay. So let's start with Monday and Tuesday then. So the energy we've got then, we've got Aspen Spirit Courage. So have courage this week. You know, it's Christmas week, it's crazy they're giving me fear, you may be dealing with fear-based energies, the fear of other people, people just generally act a bit odd at this time of the year, because we over buy, we over panic, we over buy, you know, we're running around, we're trying to do a hundred things at once, and you've been asked to relax and breathe, so have courage as you move forward, and we've got the healing with the bear, now the bear is also a great symbol of strength here, and you've got all this snowy energy, so the snow is cleansing everything. You know, there's a lot of healing energy around right now in the world. And you are strong enough to deal with whatever's going on. You're also going through a big transformation right now. And we've got the numbers three and four. So this is about angels protecting you and ascended masters being with you. So I feel Jesus around you, ascended masters, spirit around you, loved ones in heaven, helping you to know that Everything you're going through today is part of your transformation for tomorrow. So a lot of healing and strength coming in. So whatever you're doing this week, Monday and Tuesday, call on the brown bear for strength and understanding. Call on Archangel Michael for clarity, for truth, for awareness. Call on Archangel Raphael for healing and to help you to deal with anything that comes your way. And for Wednesday and Thursday, We've got leadership and we've got raven spirit. Now, this is really powerful because we've got the stag spirit for the leadership here. And your masculine is showing you that he's already stepped into his energy of the stag. That's why he's changing into the eagle because he's showing you that he's becoming stronger and he's coming into land. He's coming home. And this is an energy where he's being illuminated right now. You know, he's showing you he wants to be a leader, he wants to take control. So really, the energy around Wednesday and Thursday is allowing the Divine Masculine to be able to come forward to you in their own time and speak their truth. And the Raven is the energy of the psychic knowledge and the awareness. So really, I'm seeing this as a Divine Feminine and this is a Divine Masculine. So you may need courage for the first two days of the week because you may really want to connect with your twin you may really feel the need or the desire to reach out to them, but you're being guided to remain strong and have courage so they can reach out to you. Because I feel that they are taking control of their life and their situation around the middle of the week so they can move forward. And, you know, they're also realizing so many truths right now. So many things, you know, about their life that just aren't serving them. And they are coming to terms with that. And you may have the opportunity to be a leader of the light in the middle of the week and help people out and share your light and love with the world. But ultimately, I feel for Twin Flames, you have to really find courage to, you know, stop yourself from doing something at the beginning of the week that you might regret, like reaching out or saying something you may regret or doing something you may not, you know, wish you had done differently. And they give me that ooh energy kind of, you know, should I shunt, I should I shunt, I back and forth. So if you're having tooth pain, just take a moment to breathe. But your masculine is more likely to take control of their life and your situation in the middle of the week. So if you're going to receive communication this week, more than likely it's going to come in in the middle of the week. 
let your masculine lead the way and for the energy of the weekend for christmas we've got passage very powerful standing stones so it may feel like it's all standing stones which means you know it may all feel stagnant or a bit blocked between you but safe passages ahead so this is going to be a great time at christmas to become aware of things it's always an opportunity to grow because we may be around people we don't want to be around family friends who may be being triggered by things so it's an opportunity to see it as a fresh beginning a safe passage passage to the other side so this is really about you walking forward with truth and light and understanding and integrity and learning to respond with love instead of reacting with fear using breath work feeling at peace with things feeling strong and you know moving ahead with light and love so this is knowing that you are okay and following your dreams and everything that's happening and everything that has happened is a passageway to this new beginning very powerful i'm also going to bring in an extra card okay about christmas here and i'm going to use the magic this is the christmas tales um oracle but i love this deck so what else do we need to know as we move towards christmas jump straight out there the christmas wish so it's not just for children to make wishes at christmas it's for us to make wishes too and this is what he says he says i can be used at christmas just once by the lucky child who finds me so this wish is saying make a wish make a wish just this once even if it feels silly you can be you know you can connect with your inner child right now and make a wish make a wish upon that star it says what happens when the child makes a wish okay what happens when you make a wish the angels hear you the angels hear your prayer and they take it to heaven or the wish gets put into the universe or your vortex of creation what who is watching the children the angels who is watching you the angels this is saying to whoever makes that wish you are being watched over and what is the strange shadow on the bedroom wall so the strange shadow could be about fear don't let fear creep in make your wish and believe that you deserve it that it's coming make your wish and i feel that you know this is a big sign that your wish could be about union coming in the new year spending time together moving things forward and i'm definitely feeling you know if you're watching this thinking i wonder if he's going to communicate over christmas i wonder if it's going to happen if it's going to move forward the big message is you know to have courage in your connection and to trust in it and remember there's all a big cleansing happening right now to move everything forward but you're more likely going to get communication wednesday and thursday than at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week and that's okay you don't need communication from them at christmas to know they love you at christmas because they do so make your wish think about the new year and feel good and enjoy it christmas is an opportunity to relax to have some time off work to indulge a little bit to eat well and drink well and you know just watch things on the tally and chill so use that you know use that today as an advantage for just being with you or maybe you do other things at christmas you may go riding they show me someone riding in the snow or you may do something where you go somewhere with family or you do something exciting enjoy it and know that wherever you go whatever you do you are safe and the angels are with you and everything is a passage to the next step i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon